two. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning body sculpt. Here we go. A little bit of everything. Uh, again, sliders great. Uh, if not, on the floor uh, are fine. Let's get moving. So here, warming up. We're gonna start off with easy leg swings. Here, you're swinging back and front. If you want, you can use a wall to hold yourself up with any balance. But if not, you keep your core and get yourself a bit of balance action, a bit of leg swinging. And three, two, one, other side. Feel free to add uh, a hop if like, you, need, you need a balance. But if not, I can just swing in to wake up our joints. It's a little early, you just had your coffee. That's fine too. Three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, inner ankle touches, feet up nice and wide. Reaching in and out, warming up. Warming up our shoulders, warming up our core. We'll be using a ball today as well. If you don't have a ball, don't worry. You don't have to have one. Three, two, one. Uh, there's always alternatives. Next, we're going to go for a lunge and twist. So it's called a runner's stride. We're going to lunge like this. Opposite arm to the floor. So my left arm is forward. So my left leg is forward. My right, right arm goes to the ground. I twist towards the sky. And switch. Down here. And open up. We're trying to stretch open our core. Work on our hip flexors. Two more each way. So here, down, stretch. Here, down. And down, reach. Excellent, shake it off. Back to the leg swing. Just turn the swing side to side, warming up for glute knees. Push, all right, other side. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, back to inner ankle touches. Feet it wide, reaching in. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Back to the lunge and twist. Just the warm up our hip flexors. Let's go. Here, down, and stretch. Down, stretch. Down, stretch. And one more. And down, and stretch. All right. I'm gonna breathe through your stomach the whole time. I'm gonna start with some sliders. Now, if you don't have sliders, I'm gonna show you some alternatives. We're gonna start with some hamstring curls. A little bit of leg work. For sure. Uh, if we don't have it, we can just go for a hip bridge on a single leg, or go for a pull with a towel on the hardwood floor, or socks on the hardwood floor. So here, we're engaged, hands planted, lift up and see through, come down. Now, if that's too much, you can do one at a time like this. If you don't have any sliders, hold the hip bridge, squeeze your core, squeeze your bum, kick one leg out, then come down, lift, switch, down. That's fine too. So, no matter what form you're doing, you get sliders or spots on top of the floor, keep going. We'll go for 15 more seconds, whatever form, whatever form you can do. So here, coming up, first height, and come down, up, come down, up, come through, up, come through. Almost there, three. Two, one. Excellent, we're gonna flip over. We're gonna go for mountain climbers. Uh, you can do it with or without the sliders. To here. Either on the sliders, like so. Or switch the sliders and just go for regular mountain climbers and tap. Either one's fine. 50 more seconds. The sliders and no sliders, you can always do variations. I'm gonna switch back to sliders. What happens? All right, 10 more seconds.
three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we're taking a little bit of arm work. We're going to throw some tricep push-ups. So, shoulders back, elbows tucked in. And as we come in, exhale as we press. I'm going to go for nine more. You go for as many as little as you like. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to do a modified. Inhale as we come in, exhale as we press. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, shake that off in our arms. Go back to the hamstring curls. Now, if you don't, if you can't do hamstring curls, it's fine. Just go over the one leg hip bridge with the legs sticking out. Either one is a okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go for another 30 seconds. Go for as many or as little as you like. So pulling through, coming down. Exhale, you curl. Inhale, you lengthen. If I make it harder, keep your hands off the ground the whole time. So you're just using your core and your hamstring. If you want to assist yourself a little bit, you can place your hands to this. Three more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Back onto those mountain climbers. You're doing with or without sliders. 30 seconds. Starting in three, two, and one. Alright, we're gonna breathe through your stomach the whole time. Exhale every turn in with the knee or every second turn in. We have 15 more seconds left. You're doing great. Big push. Alright, and five, four, three, two, and one. Back to those tricep push ups. One last time. Elbows tucked in. Let's go for 10. Starting now. Breathing in, breathing at one. You're not going to go faster. We're slower. Three. Feel free to. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. All right. First water break. We're going to get you some more arm work. Start off with a side raise and a front raise. We use eight pounds to this. So here we do a shoulder circuit. We're gonna work our shoulders from the side, front, top, and back. A little bit of everything. So two planted shoulders. Uh, sorry, leaning forward. Go for a side raise and a front raise. So side, front. Nine more each way. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and one. Take it off. Next, we're going to go for a single arm clean and press. Do the wide hip width apart. I'm going to back up a little bit. You can see the full form. Feet planted. Inhale as we come in. Exhale as we come up. And push. We're going to go for 12. Go for as many or as little as you like. Here, push. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Other side. Shoulder press. Down, shoulder, press. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, three more. Ten, two more. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Now on to rear slide. Do the front and the side and the top. Now we're going to go for rear slide. Grab your lighter weight. So lean forward 45 degrees. Keep back. Good double check. What this is. Oh, never mind. All right, back to rear fly. Let's go. Of course, at any time, if you're inspired to give feedback or make requests, those who are live, feel free to put them in the chat. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, shake off those shoulders. We're going to go back to the side raise and the front raise. Okay, we're going to slightly heavier weight. Shoulders back, core engaged. Feet planted. Ten each way. Ten. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. Ooh, all right. Shake it off, back to the single arm stand and press. Starting in three, two going for a 12 aside. One, down, reach, press. Down, shoulder, press. Down, shoulder, press. Four, five, six, almost there. You're doing great. Seven, push. Eight, nine, Ten. Two more. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Great. Other side. Reach. Shoulder. Press. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, two more. Almost there, push, eleven, and twelve. All right, so here, um, if we have a ball, we're gonna use it, so I'm gonna use a ball. But uh, if you don't have one, it's okay, you can do all this from the floor. We're gonna go for a chest fly, then a tricep extension, we're gonna flip over, go for plank and toe tap. I'm gonna do all of those on the ball. You can do them on the floor, I'll demonstrate. Here. We're gonna, if, we're, if we're on the floor, we're just going to lie face up. That's all we're going to do. On the ball, we're going to have a two on the ball and roll ourselves to our head and neck. Shoulders on the ball, and we're going to inhale as we come in, exhale as we press. If you don't have a ball, on the floor is just fine. The so same thing, let's go for it. 14 more. So 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, push, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. Now, go for triceps. Push, 1, 2, 3, same thing, go for 15, 4, Five, big breath, six, seven, push, eight. Now the only difference is nine. Ten of being on the ball versus the floor. Eleven, you have to hold a bridge on the ball. Thirteen, the whole time. Fourteen, and fifteen. Perfect, well here we roll up. Next time we go for a plank and toe tap. Uh, we have two options. We go from the floor, just on our elbows tapping side to side. If you want an advanced version, we can put our toes up on a, a ball or a boxer bench and use the, uh, use the ball, boxer bench as a platform. Let me demonstrate. So here, we're engaged. And going tap, 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 tap. Use that ball for stability. So keep going. 20 more seconds or whatever form you're able to do. Use the ball, you can use the boxer bench or just uh, tap just on your elbows. Half in the ground. 
10 more seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kick off his arms. Back on the chest block. Now, if you don't have a baller bench, use the floor. That's fine too. Make sure it's above your chest, not above your face. Go for the 15, 1, 5. Good. Back a little bit first. All right. Let's go. Inhale as we come in. Exhale as we close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for 15, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 and 15. Excellent. Back on two triceps. Push. One, two, three. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Push. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. All right. Next, we go plank and toe tap. These moves I could actually show you from the floor. You can also do the most sliders if you want. Let me show you both. We're starting now, 30 seconds. You can go for sliders, one, two, like so. Or you can ditch them, just tap like that. Or go back on the ball. 20 more seconds, whatever form you want. The slides like this are fine. Tap. Using the ball, whatever you got lying around, all those are fine options. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Shake it off, grab some water, and we'll do our next set. First, if any requests, we're going to put them in the chat. bring back the kettlebell. So here, uh, we're gonna make some swings and some single heavy arm rows. So we're really, really working that upper body as that was a request today. So here, opposite arm on the ball or bench or box, whatever you have lying around, we're gonna go for some rows. One, two, same thing, we go for 15. Four, you can have a box or bench, you can also use a wall. That's fine too, five, six, Seven, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, other side. If you can see back here, I'm gonna check that in just a sec. Go for some rows. One, two, three, big breath. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, Three, two, and one. Excellent. So quickly double check that feedback. Core, please. Music's a bit loud. All right, no problem. Let me turn it down. Just a touch. Okay, hopefully that, that assisted. All right, back on to, uh, we'll do some, we'll do some uh, kettlebell swings if we planned. We'll toss in some core. So for kettlebell swings, you have two options. You can do the full swing, or you can go for a deadlift pattern if you find your low back uh, doesn't do well with the swing. So here, either going for a swing pattern like this, or if that's too much, just regular controlled deadlift. Doesn't matter which one you do, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, six more of each. So six, uh, six swings and six deadlifts. Down, push. Two, three, four, five, six. Now deadlift. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. All right, have some close. For the last three steps, we're gonna go for a single a half setup, grabbing that single weight. We're gonna go for either side. All right. Weight above our shoulder, core engaged. Uh, if you want, you can use the kettlebells you're using before. It's quite difficult. Uh, pick a ice a specific and use the lighter weight. All right, please plan to go for either side. Exhale, one, two, three, start with the yawn, big breath. Four, big push. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Uh, nine and ten. All right, other side. And push. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, two more. Four, seven. Big reach and eight. All right, back those those. Be back to the squad to double check that my audio is correct. My head stuff. Okay. Back on two of those rows. I'll be using a wall. Use whatever you have lying around. The box, the bench, a ball. Fine too. All right, let's go for those rows. 15, 1, 5, heaviest weight you can muster. And roll. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, push, 10, little off there, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Ooh, shake it off other side. Big row, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Shake it off. Back on two. Swing. Or deadlift. Let's go for 80 sway. Feet planted starting in three, two, and one. One. Two. Three. Big push. Four. Five. Six. Seven, push, eight, nine, ten. Let's go bonus. That's okay. We'll go for twenty. And ten deadlifts. One. We got a bonus this morning. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. All right. Shake it off. Last one. Have get up. Grab that weight, lying face up. Actually, either side. <laughs> All right. Get it nice and high. Be planted. We're engaged. Starting in three. And we exhale as you come up. And one. One. Two. Three. Good breath. Each. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Excellent. Other side. Sorry about that. One second. All right. Good eight this side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Excellent. Grab that water. A little bit more core work. And showing a little bit of light. All right. So 
Uh, I'll be using a ball, so you don't have to have one. Uh, you can use nothing at all. Ball's pretty optional. It just adds more, uh, more things to do. So, we're going to start off with a, what's called a ball transfer. If you don't have a ball, you can use a large pillow, a uh, yoga block, or just imagine there's something there. That's all. So, line things up. If you have a ball, let's use it. If not, a pillow, uh, some kind of large, light object. What have we got lying around? Hello. Yoga block. Really anything. All right. Three. Two. Now, exhale as you fold. Inhale as you tap down. Exhale as you fold. Inhale as you tap down on the other side. I'm going to go for seven more here. Go for as many as you like. Again, if you don't have a ball, use a couch pillow, uh, a regular pillow, whatever you have lying around. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Next, we're going to go for a uh, hip bridge. You have two options. If you don't have a ball, do this on the floor. This is going to go for, for me, I'm going to go for a hip bridge. And a, and a roll out, but if you don't have a ball, just go for a regular hip bridge and kick out. So demonstrate. So here with a ball, four feet planted, hips up, roll out, roll in, down, hip bridge, roll out, roll in, down. If you don't have a ball, that's fine. Hip bridge, and then kick both legs out, come back down. Hip bridge, kick both legs out, come back down. Either one's fine, 25 more seconds or whatever you got. To bring the ball back over. All right. Again, there's always options with or without equipment. And then down. Hip stuff. Go up, go in, down. One more. Lift up in down. All right. From here, I should go back to that ball transfer. A little bit more core here. So again, if you don't have a ball, use a pillow, touch pillow, whatever you got lying around. A futon. Yeah, really anything. All right. Let's go for eight total. Sorry, eight transfers or 16 total. Starting in three, two, and one. Lift. Tap. Down. And two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, shake it off, back to the hip bridge, and rolling and rolling out. Again, if you don't have a ball, you can just go for the hip bridge, double leg kick out, come back down. Starting in four. Three, go for as many as you like for 35 seconds. Two, and one. Lift, roll in, roll out, down. Lift, down. And uh, we're almost there, 15 more seconds. So whatever variation works for you. Lift, roll out, roll in, down. All right. Deep breath. I grab some water for our last couple of exercises. So any last minute requests, now is the time. Do a quick check here. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to request her to do a favor to mine. It was important to go to the top. We'll do it at the end. And here, we're thinking a little bit a lot. So we're going to do this lying face up on the ground. You can do it from the ball as well. Go for a carry the ball. I'm going to do it from the floor. So we're going to lie face up. We're going to take our single heaviest weight that we feel safe using. And we're going to go for both arms. 
pulling through. Our goal is not to do a tricep extension. Our goal is to actually pull through our last as much as we can. I'll demonstrate. We're going to go for 15, one, five. So here. Line piece up. Oh, grabbing the heavy weight. We're going to reach over behind us. We're going to pull through the middle to engage our last. I got 14 more. You can go for as many or as little as you like. We're going to hold on to weight firm, but you do not want it falling in your face. Uh, dental is expensive, so uh, avoid it falling on your face. And pull through. That's five. Again, we're not doing triceps. So if you're missing your triceps, I want you to strain your arms a little more. The weight swing it. You gain control. Pull from behind your shoulders. As you're closing your arm fist, as opposed to pulling the arm. Six more to go. Six. Five. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. One more. Reach back and slide. Perfect. And here, now we're going to go for a little bit of force. So we're going to go for a side pointing twist. We're going to flip over, face down, and we're going to alternate side plank. And then we're going to twist the opposite direction. So here, I'm going to go for uh, eight aside. We're going to go for a side plank and twist. Uh, you can do it from your elbows or from your wrist, whichever one you feel more comfortable doing. So here, regular plank position, side plank to one side and reach, side plank to the other. I'm going to do that so I don't slip on it. Three, four, five, six, also getting your shoulder work at seven, nine, ten, eleven, five, four more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and 60. Alrighty. Take it off. Back on a rotator cut. Here. Go for 15 this side. Alright, elbow tucked in. Starting in three, two, and one. Rotate one. Two. If you don't do this one at home, you're gonna do it with me here. So the most exciting. So it is essential. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And the Richard Cuff isn't exciting. So once you're doing it on your own, you're going to do it with me. Uh, if you do this on your own, out of having it outside of my classes, uh, excellent. Is there something else we're doing this? Just do one of it. Two, three, big breath. Four, five, going for 15, six. Seven, big pull, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, pull, four, three, two, and one. All right. Back to the top here. We're going to go for that lat pullover. So line stays up. Let's do this angle. Fine. Oh. Here, line stays up. Got that single heavy weight. you hold it nice and square so it doesn't fall on our face. Firm. All right. One. Reach back. And two, again, we don't want to use your triceps. Two, we're going to use just our last. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, 13, 14, and 15. Perfect. Bring that down. We're going to go back to that side plank inch with. Ready for 16 total or 8 of 5. Let's go. Starting in 3, 2, almost there. One, plank position, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. Ooh. Deep breath. That's going to really be time. Last time. Over 15, one five, other side. Starting in three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more. Three, two, and one. All right, other side. Four, five, six, seven, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Whoa. Hard part's over. We're going to go for a little bit of stretching. And mostly upper body. See if you're doing mostly upper body stretching. We're going to find a wall. Is it for our shoulders? So dropping your shoulder here, and away as much as we can. Other side and one. Elbow nice and high, drop that shoulder, lean forward to a nice touch and pack. Side, elbow base and high, lunging forward, think a deep stretch in that pec muscle, in that chest muscle. 25 seconds here. And five, four, three, two. One and here to go for a last stretch with both arms against the wall. Go. And lean forward, turn to a stretch. Go past the arm, so it's going to be a head pass right there. Three, two, one, shake it off. Last two stretches. One hand behind her back. Head the other way. Pressure just off the side of our neck. Five, four, three, two, one. Sing side to the side. Head the other way. Thank you.